when removing a full spotlight assembly like this one, um, I've already kind of cheated and taken off the uh, this A pillar cover and then reassembled. Um, but this, I just took this off so it's easier to kind of tell what we're doing behind here. Um, so, yeah, obviously you're gonna only have access to about this point. So you can see that there is a nut here and there's screw, this torque screw, or sometimes it's a hex head that I've already removed. Um, so you're gonna wanna remove this guy. And the way these are wired is that there's only one power wire and then the negative is through the frame. So remove this screw on the side. Thought I had it finger loose, but maybe not. There we go. So remove that screw and it was just a Torx. I had already loosened it up and taken it out once. And then this is just the nut side, but it's a wedge that keeps it retained. So even though we took the screw out, it's not gonna come out. So on the opposite side, thread this back in a little bit. Now I was able to do this by hand and just wiggle this out. So you're just using this screw as kind of a, a lever or a, a hold point to wiggle this out. And that notch is what's retaining the handle to the, like, the arm. And then you can just wiggle it out. Okay, so now at this point, we just disconnect it from the power supply on these interceptors, they came equipped with a plug for these. Um, so yours may be hardwired in, but like you can see, I have it on this side too, uh, but mine wasn't equipped with one over there, so it's just doing nothing. So anyway, um, you, so you pull this off and that's literally the only powered part. Um, everything else was, so the, this is essentially the, the wire, so to speak, right here. So the power would go through here to power the light, and then the ground side was just because it would screw into the frame. So from the outside, we're just going to remove these three screws. Um, it's easier at this point just to pull this whole thing out. Now our light is completely disassembled. And then I already loosened up two of these screws, but this last one's easier to get to after you remove the light. So now there's normally a set screw, probably an Allen or a Torx, um, that sits right inside there. Mine is missing probably from, I don't know, when they took this off at some point. Um, but then you just pull this guy out, it might be easier to tap it with the mallet from the back. And so we just pull this guy all the way through, there's our shaft for our arm. And then this guy should just come right out. And then we're left with our cutout. And yeah, so that's it. Um, at this point, we will patch the holes. I have a video from this point onward um, on my other vehicle when I did this. So yeah, should be uh, pretty straightforward. Hope this helps.